All right, scholars. Here I'm going to work through an example of how to calculate your percentages. So we'll do protein, which is at the bottom of page three of your eco food print. Let's scroll up to see how many servings of protein did we have. I just threw in some numbers here. Let's say we had four servings of nuts, two beans, nine dairy, five eggs, and 13 meat. Four, two, nine, five, 13. So we can plug those numbers in here. Four, two, nine, five, 13. If we add all these numbers up, we see that they are 23. And now all we're really doing is calculating what percent is four of 23. And that percent will go down here. So let's work through that math. We have four divided by 23, which if we do the math comes to uh, 0 0.17 four, which is going to be equal to 17.4 percent. Let's keep uh, our life simple here and round to the nearest whole number, 17 percent. For beans, we have two servings compared to four, so it's going to be half of that. We should really take half of 17.4, otherwise we'll get what we call double rounding error. So that would be 8.7 percent, which would be uh, 9 percent. So Let's see here. So 8.7%. And you can do the same thing for these other categories. In the end, these percentages should all add up to 100%. You're going to be doing a similar process with these other ones up here at the top. So if you scroll up um, when you're doing the grains part, so I didn't have you already calculate the breakdown on the grains. We can see the grain totals here. But you're going to need to go back and summarize, probably in this space here, uh, how many servings was that of rice, how many servings was it of wheat, corn, etc. And then you'll, then you'll do the same process. Okay, now for these questions, five, six, uh, and seven, you don't have to get super quantitative with it. Um, you're just basically looking for general trends. Okay, well, feel free to ask in class if you have any questions.